Alright, and we're back. This is probably going to be the last video. This one's going to be about banking the stuff that you gathered. Uh, well, we got a NUR over here. You know what? We'll, um, we'll also add to that how to kill a NUR. <laughs> um, could just ride by it, but this is a good opportunity to show people how to get them when you're on your dinghy. Uh, so, really, it would be nice if I had some more water in my walker, um, in case I died. But we're going to kill it with this uh, hand axe. So the goal is to jump on top of it and hit it while you're just standing on top of it. Uh, if I can get a good angle. And... Yep, here we go. Nope, missed. All right, run away and try to jump back because it could probably like one hit or two hit me. Yeah, there we go. All right. We're going to try that again, maybe from the front. Or No, here we go, right here. And now we're on it. So, once you're on it, just don't move around, just stay on it, and overhead swing until you take it out. So these guys are good for hide, they're also good for uh, chitin, so you, for hide, just hit it with the axe, probably not a good idea to get hide from it, just use the pickaxe, um, and get the chitin from it, but, yep, easy kill, um, you could do a couple of them at that time. I think I've killed two or three at once where I was standing on one and the others didn't attack me. But yeah, easy, easy loot for the chitin. So I'll pull out the pickaxe. Just oh, seven of them, not bad. Um, we don't need it right now, but it, you know, since it was there, we're just going to grab it. Uh, it is used for higher tier stuff uh, later on. Um, but yeah, okay, back, back to what we were originally planning to do. Um, we are going to go to the outskirts of the grid, so the grid line um, where it's all sandy and foggy, and we're going to unload what we've gathered, which I really didn't gather that much because it was all from the previous videos, um, but you would have a whole lot of stuff that you're going to unload into your bank walker, so I'm going to skip ahead until we get there. All right, so to show you real quick, we're at the edge of the map. We're past the point where you log out. There is uh, boundaries further out, but we're not going to hit that boundary. So um, because people can still see in, we kind of went into where you can dip down. So I'm going to retract these wings um, just in case someone does decide to roll by. We're going to leave that walker and hit L to uh, go out to the lobby to grab our other one. So we're leaving that walker there. We're not touching it. And we're going to come back in with our other walker. Um, both walkers are parked on the same grid line. You don't want to do it on opposite sides of the map. The bank walker is stored up in this uh, northeast corner. So we left the northeast to the northeast corner in order to be able to pull them both out. Um, so there it is. It's the only one on the grid uh, that my clan or myself owns. I'm going to bring it back in and we'll skip the queue even though all right, so we're loaded in. Uh, I do want to point out this little protective barrier. You can barely see it. Once I step out of it, it's going to disappear. Okay, well, I got close to it and it disappears. But that stops other players from going in to that barrier and wrecking your you and your walker as soon as you load in. So I, I don't really know what the time is. Probably one to two minutes. Not enough time for you to safe log out, but enough time for you to assess who's around you and if there's any threats coming. Um... <laughs> to kind of, I guess, prepare for it. So, uh, it does take you out of the logout area. So, we are going to take the bank walker and quickly turn around and go straight back into the clouds. Um, and then meet up with our other walker that we left. And it put us at the southern side. So, I'm going to go, I mean, I'm going to turn and go up there towards it. But, uh, you know, I'll skip so you guys can see. But first, I do want to point out. Um, other people can, if they're further away from this cloud, they can see your walker out there. Um, so we want to get there as quickly as possible. We want to stay down the hills. Um, that's another reason why we make this walker look like it doesn't have anything on it. Because all it is is carrying our pack base. We don't want chests on it. We don't want it to look pretty or add anything extra to it. We want it to look like it's, it's just some noob's walker. And... Hopefully, nobody wants to destroy it. Um, 
another reason why it's probably a good idea to keep it as a dinghy and, and minimize how much stuff you actually hold. Um, so, uh, and then maybe you have other walkers for, for fun or whatever, but, but this one is your bank walker. We have our base that we built. All right, we're here. Um, first thing we're going to do real quick is pull out the, the banked base that we have, in, or the packed base that we have in the bank walker. Um, so place it however you want. Um, then you're going to hop down and pull out your gathering walker's bank or a packed base. Um, the door is still jacked up. Um, we're going to drop that on the ground, grab everything that we want off of it, which usually means everything. Um, and then we're going to go put it in the base. We're not going to sort it. We're not going to do any of that because we just want to get all of these walkers out of here. Um, maybe if we get on on a different time and there's the, jeez, what a, yeah, so the door originally was messed up and yeah, you just got to be careful about how you angle packing your base and, and, uh, where the door is. But anyway, we'll put everything in there, um, get it all in, doesn't matter what it is or where it goes, we'll worry about that at another time because all we're trying to do is bank everything and put it all away. Uh, we do want to put the cattail in there and maybe start some rope up so when we do have the base down, we can, uh, uh the rope will automatically be making, you know, rope, or the fiber working station will be making rope. Um, then we're going to head back out, and I'm going to go grab the rest of the stuff out of this, uh, cargo real quick. Went to the wrong walker. Um, it'll let me, don't worry about flipping it, you don't actually need to flip your walker. There we go. All right, we're going to grab the frags and the uh, chitin and go store that in the base real quick. Then once we're done here, uh, we're going to pack the base and head back out. So, I'll keep the frags, but. so the first base that we're going to pack up is going to be the bank walker because it is the most important one. Um, after you pack it up, you want to get back on your walker and there's two things you can do. You can either safe log it by doing the transfer to lobby and wait the two minutes for it to disappear. Or you can hit L immediately and have it transfer out to the lobby. But then you'll have to walk back to your gathering walker over there. Um, and who knows, you might get lucky. It might put you right next to it or it'll make you walk. But um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of walking. I'm not too worried right now. I'm going to keep all these tools on me. But you could drop all your stuff off before you do that too. Um, I'm just going to do the transfer to lobby so I don't have to walk to that thing because most of the time I'm unlucky and it puts me far away. So, um, oh, too far from, or not close, <laughs> too close to the base. Walk away for a little bit, stop it. Um, cause we do have the, uh, packed base still sitting out there for the gathering walker. Transfer it to lobby, hop off. It takes two minutes and then, um, and then you're good to go. So, we do want to stay within the area. We don't want to go too far. I think this is good enough distance. And we'll run over here and pack up this base. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's still safe logging. Uh, so we'll pack this one back up and we're good to go. It, okay, well, I, it's not supposed to happen that way, but it looks like it disappeared sooner than two minutes, which is good. Um, yeah, okay, well, awesome. We didn't have to wait the two minutes, so... Hopefully that happens to you and you don't have to wait or you don't have to run through the desert naked to get back to your gathering walker. But now that everything's put away, we can get back on our walker, get back out there and start gathering again or do whatever you want. Gather some more frags, gather some more resources, whatever the next step is. Maybe you want to build a stiletto or a toboggan. Um, but yeah, this, this is pretty much it for the series. Uh, hopefully I helped out a lot of you solos. I know I'm not personally a solo player. I do play with the clan. We do a lot of PvP, so I see a lot of things, have some ideas. Um, but I do go out solo for gathering when I'm gathering for the group occasionally, uh, or I gather with, uh, uh, with a team. But overall, hopefully this helps, uh, anyone. And, um... Uh, We'll come up with some more videos, maybe some, some how to design a PvP walker or something like that on the next ones. Alright, appreciate you watching. Thanks.